No More Newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube channel art banner for your YouTube channel using Share Factory on the PS4. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4 then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Okay so shout out to It's Jack Gordon who asked me to make this video. Please do check out his channel and consider subscribing if you like his content. Okay, so in order to make your YouTube channel art banner, we need a share factory, a USB memory stick and PC or laptop to upload it to the internet. And just one thing to say quickly, there are better ways of making your YouTube channel art using other systems, but if you're keen to use share factory, then this is the way to do it. So what we need to do is go into um, photos and new project and then there are lots of different themes here that we can start using and each theme has one or two or three um, different screenshots that you could use as a base or you could use a solid color or gradient as a base and adjust it to whatever color you want as a background so I'm just going to flick through a couple to show you that there's a few different options and you can choose whichever ones you want I'm going to choose this one here and the Naughty Dog Anniversary Art is what we're going for to start with so you can use any the only thing with the one I'm choosing is it's quite dark so possibly um, one that you might choose one that's a bit lighter but I like the style so I'm just going to go with it and then we're going to just go down this left hand column and find this one here this where it's got three th frames going across and what you can do is add screenshots each time you go back to the same one or you could actually change it up if you wanted to but I'm just going to use the same three here so you just choose screenshot and then pu uh, push across on that and square to add it to the frame and then what we want to do is pan and zoom and you can move it about and find you know, a particular area that you like and, and just get it just how you want it really and there's no right or wrong on this um, I'm just going to do it quickly just to give you um, an idea of what to do but obviously I think you'd spend a little bit more time and, and just try and get it exactly how you want it because it's going to be the first thing that people see on your um, page so it's important to get it right but I'm going to use this and um, as an example um, just should try and show you the best way of doing it very quickly so you've got the borders here and I've moved the spacing down so it's a really thin border what we will do at the end is we will get rid of it okay um, because we're not going to actually want it on our arts at the end the positioning of the text that you're going to use is important. We've chosen this three frame setting because we're only going to use the middle one. We're not going to put any text anywhere else other than in the middle bar. And if you look in a second, I've put the guidelines of where we have to be within as well. So you need to stay within these blue lines here. And if you look where the arrows are pointing, there's some text at the top and that's your guide where you don't go any further, go beyond. So rewind that bit if you need to see it. But I use it as a visual guide where it's says transform text after that last T in text you can't go any wider than that and the same with the options button at the top don't go any further to the right beyond that options if there was a line coming down and then when you look at it on YouTube um, on mobile and all that it will still be nice and clear I'll sh you'll see that later on okay so I've typed in the text I'm sure you all know how to type in the text now so we're just going to get that into position you can see it's not going beyond the words at the top like I explained so do make sure you check that otherwise it's just not going to look proper uh, or look right on YouTube okay so we're just going to change the colors to whatever you want I'm just going to choose anything here just to um, indicate again you're going to be more specific and try and get it um, as best as you can do when and you're going to probably spend a bit more time on it so let's just keep getting through you can play about with the hue and all this sort of stuff but let's just choose basic colors and then what we want to do is just maybe add a sticker or something really limited on stickers in share factory so you may want to consider whether it's actually worth it or not um, but if you do find a sticker that you like and you want to use it then why not so for the sake of argument we're just going to choose um, one here you've got the standard ones or the themed stickers so I'm just going to choose one of these themed ones I think I'll go for this man I think I saw a jump up here there um, 
we go for this one here, we chuck him in, say push cross and we're just going to move him over to the right above share factory. And once that's in place we just need to push the square button and we can go into border settings and bring the border settings all the way down so that you can't actually see the borders at all. And then once you're happy with that you can push the options button and then we can go into export to gallery and then that will export it and then we can just share later and we can just come out of it and save project and exit okay and this is where you need your USB stick so plug that into your PS4 we want to come out of uh, share factory and go into capture gallery go into share factory come across to your project okay so make sure your um, USB is inserted into the PS4 and then we can un um, we can check out what it looks like so this is pretty much what it looks like I think it looks absolutely fine okay and then what you want to do is you can push the options button and go to copy to USB storage device there is another step but I can't show you because I've only got one USB stick and I'm recording on the one I've got but when you go into your laptop or your PC you put your USB stick into it and then you can go into USB find PS4 share screenshots share factory and you just go in it will already create that onto your um, memory stick and then once you've clicked onto all of those you'll find your project here okay and then what we do need to do is make sure it's the right size and we do need to resize it so I've gone I've right clicked on it and it says open with and I've got the option on paint and then but you, you will have other options maybe but just go to resizing and you may have the option of choosing pixels it will be a probably the wrong size so we just need to change it to this size so do make a note of what this size is okay um, once you've changed it over push OK and it will save it um, but do save it anyway using the icons there come out of that there may be another option where you just right click on something or if you've got a different program but the main thing is you need to resize it then you can go into your YouTube and I'm using my test um, channel here and you go to your channel and then you look on your channel art. this is something I was just playing about with the channel out there you just click on that camera setting and then you can select a photo from your computer you can go to your photos they do have some standard photos as well so you select from photo from your computer and then you find the USB stick, find the um, sc screenshot that you're working on and that is what it will look like if you had it on a desktop PC or mobile so you can see why we needed to stay inside those lines and yes yeah, you do have the option of um, changing it about a little bit with cropping but that is all there is <laughs> so it's important to get it right in the first instance I'd say and then you can select it or um, yeah so that's just showing you where we are we select it there and then it will just load up and there you go jobs done okay so actually it doesn't look too bad and I remember trying to use um, share factory initially to do um, a th uh, channel art and couldn't find any way of doing it so now we know how to do it uh, give it a go um, there are better options on the computers but if you're really keen on using share factory then that is the way and I hope this helps you out and if you have found it helpful please do subscribe and turn on notifications to let me know that it's been of use and uh, thanks